Okay, so today I'm going to do an example of how to find MLS rental comps in PropStream. And you can totally do it. So like I'm looking at a property now in Fort Wentworth, Georgia. And let's say I want to know what the rental comps are. Well, I know I could put the actual address in here. I just put the city in for now. But I know it's in this area here. There's this quadrant, so to speak. And so what I can do is I can actually just draw around this little quadrant here. And there we go. <clears throat> and it's going to show me all these properties. Great. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Filter, MLS Status. And even though we typically think of this as houses, we can use it for rentals. So I can say my listing amount total was $1,500. What that tells me, it's going to cut out all the typical property sales because no one's selling buying $100,000 homes for $1,500 in most scenarios. And now all of a sudden I have them down to three. Okay, and I can see where they are. I can see them where they are in relation to mine, and they're all pretty close. And essentially, I can click them, and I'll go to MLS details, and you'll see a category called rent. And there it is, rental property, 995, pulled off market. Pulled off market essentially means it's been leased, okay? It's been leased if I want to call the, uh, the listing agent. To get more information, we can just give them a call. There's their name, there's their number. If we can get more information about it to learn uh, what you know what happened. You could see it was listed on August 27th, and on 914 it was pulled off market. Now you might think, well, what if it was just withdrawn? Well, it's possible. Usually that's not the case, but sometimes it is. Again, you can just call the agent to verify. I actually did put in something for to prop stream to see if they can. Uh, distinguish between the two but typically because i've seen a lot of mls listings over the year typically when they're pulled off it's because they were rented so if i go to the next property now you'll notice again i go to the listings rent 850 dollars okay and so forth in fact you can see the bed bath square footage right here so here's a 2-1 little bit smaller house the one i'm looking at is a 3-1 but hey here's a 2-1 that rented for 950 okay so this gives me a good idea now notice that it's Kim Lanier again so you know maybe Kim Lanier needs to be my property manager uh, if I buy this property for rental <clears throat> so this is a way you can run rental comps inside a prop stream using MLS data uh, the best data is still your local property manager so in this case I might actually call Kim and say hey do you have any listing, any rentals that you've rented off the MLS, what it does rent for and that sort of thing. But uh, MLS data, again, because it's the MLS, it's solid. So PropStream gives us access to that, not just for resales, but also for rentals. So it's a pretty powerful tool to have. All right, for other PropStream training videos, check out my playlist on my YouTube page. Plenty of them. Thanks.